Microsoft put out a 35-minute demo video of their upcoming Surface Duo. The ins and outs. Speaking of a device not carrying 5G, but still having a hefty price tag. Now, they get to their $13.99 price tag because, they, because I feel they're pitching this thing not as much as a phone, but kind of like a phone, tablet, laptop crossover. It's supposed to be all those things. And the Surface brand has been toying with this for a while. Like, mm. what is, what's your computer thing? Mm. And I don't mind it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't mind it. I sat here and watched a portion of the 35-minute demonstration video, very casual, very off the cuff. And I immediately recognized a number of use cases in which I would love to be holding this thing mm. on the couch. I mean, this is a couch device, I'll tell you what. The, the, they, they had a couple marketing things they said in the presentation. It, it's the Windows you love and the Android you know, I believe is how they phrased it. And you, you may not like the marketing terminology, hmm. but the truth is these are two softwares, two software companies who have a lot of experience. We have to admit it. Mm -hmm. And even though Microsoft has mostly failed at mobile, failed in the sense that we don't have it anymore, we don't, you don't have Windows Phone, mm. Microsoft's, Microsoft's take on Android might be something interesting. And so I'm sitting here watching this demo, and I'm mostly excited around how the device is able to guess what you want to do based on what you open and how you might want to use the secondary display. And also the various animations that take place spanning an app across both displays or uh, moving a window from one display to the other. Mm. Multitasking on the smartphone has been problematic because of the screen sizes. Even when you step up to something like a Galaxy Fold, which I experimented with for a while, you... There's something about the unique way in which every Android device with multi-window or multi-view or whatever you call it, they call it, whichever brand it happens to be, where you're, you just find yourself resizing and you're just running out of space. It's hard, mm -hmm. even with the bigger phones of today, whether like it's a Note or whatever it happens to be. This one, you don't have that experience based on what I've seen in this demonstration video. This one really feels like it encourages you to multitask because you're constantly looking at two screens. Mm -hmm. You're just sitting there staring at two screens. How are you not going to use two screens? You, you'll right. find a way to do it, and you may train yourself to do more on mobile than you've done before. Hmm. It's, a, it's a long press briefing. It's 35 minutes. I appreciate the casual nature of it. You're laughing because this show is often far longer than 35 minutes, yeah. but we pack it in. We pack the stuff in here, Will. Yes. We're very efficient. Summarizing. It's, yes. And paraphrasing. It's many stories. Come on. But yes, the two apps at once thing, the seamless. Now, he hand-selected certain scenarios and apps that appear to work well with the dual display situation. There might be others that could be a mess. We don't know. I mean, here's an example of Spotify and email. That's a nice little setup. You're scrolling your email. <laughs> Come on, we're on the couch. I hear you. It's, it's looking pretty good. It's kind of cool. And I'm just excited for new form factors. So even though in the past story i'm talking about cost sensitivity this one gets me excited even though it's fourteen hundred dollars fourteen hundred dollars is actually the problem with this device few people will experiment with it because it's just so expensive would you use it as a phone yeah i would try to do the whole deal on it i don't often put the phone to my head anyways it's a lot of messaging and uh, communication through text and, and email and all the rest of it so might not be a big deal for me to mm. go to something like that, but it would be a hard transition to imagine that as your phone. Mm. Uh, the hardware looks promising. I've been a fan of Surface hardware for a while. The design, the Surface laptop is nicely put together. And so I, I know they can do that. And I'm just, I'm really curious on the day-to-day -to, -day to just see this hybrid, this merging of Microsoft and Android. And, and also just Microsoft admitting we can partner with Android. It's okay. You can yeah. partner. They're partnering with people. Microsoft seems like the friendly one right now. Yes. Which is hilarious because they were always the big bad Microsoft. Now they're partnering with Samsung. 
as mentioned with the Note, they had the better integration with Windows with the Note yep. and the game partnership with the Xbox Cloud stuff mm -hmm. they had with Samsung. And here they're partnering with Google. It's incredible. Imagine what you can achieve through partnership, Will. Together is better. Together is better. Is that? That's their uh, That's their tagline. Slogan, yeah. That's their tagline. Yeah. Very interesting. It's probably overpriced because it's like a first gen thing and it's an unusual form factor. It probably could have been a thousand bucks, but they're going to sell it for 1400. The early adopters will get it and experiment and hopefully everything is good. I'll be checking it out for you. It comes out pretty soon, doesn't it? Or we can at least you can order it pretty soon. Yeah, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Willie Do's working on it. We're going to get one. Shipping in less than a month. So, Willie Do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get cracking. Hit up Mr. Panay and uh, see what you can do. All right.